to sequence those cells and uh, to quickly get, the, for example, the target therapy to treat the patient, or you just you know, don't care about it because, because of time, so just treat the whole panel of the cell. You treat the panel of drug to see what happens. I can tell you like, what I know to do, okay, but not every instrumentation I already tried because some are also like very hard for us to do. But so far, then we, we have tried, uh, for example, um, just on issue like a panel, cancer panel, right, and the singer sequencing, uh, that's for the single, single cell. So that also being validated, not outside of our lab, you know, by Dr. Yang Zhixin. Right. So and then um, so uh, flow cytometry and site of so single cell that, that we can also do, but then um, we still have a difficulty to do um, for example like a whole exon sequencing that out of uh, circulatory tumor cell, but we're almost there, <laughs> we're almost there. So so I, I think this is really um, I I like to position myself as a you know a platform provider right so. So that's why you know, I'm here like, for a lot of uh, purposes. One is to see if uh, someone wants to collaborate with us, <laughs> right? So, yeah. Yeah, so one of the reasons I invite uh, Dr. Zhang here is the, so the, everybody needs to think uh, what's the utility of the tools or her 3D plates or something, right? We can be used, okay? I, th I think yeah. So so what, what I can do is um, you know make it like very easy, make it easy to use. I cannot make it cheap, <laughs> not right now, but uh, easy to use. And I see no reason why people you know stick with the two D construct if you have the three D, and then if you operate uh, you know identically. And for our success rate, we took the sample from surgical, surgical sample and for the long-term patient. And at the beginning, we can get 100% success rate the, in the first patient. But later on, depends on what kind of cancer. We did ovarian cancer, only 50% success rate. And liver cancer even worse, only maybe 10% or 20% success rate for long-term patient. But from your slide, I saw you mentioned 100% successful away from the CBC. Is that, you mean, first passage culture or you, did you do the long term passage? Okay. So, can I also ask you a question? Just um, So, what is the highest success rate for? for the highest is about 50% successful rate for brain cancer. Have you tried like colon or breast or? No. Focus on our cancer. Okay, so um, okay, so for CTC, I, I my arguments. So here is a mix of uh, data, right? So for CTC, is really just a freshly prepared culture sample. So by your definition, it's P zero, right? And the reason is, uh, my argument is because you can get CTC anytime, so you don't need to preserve it. <laughs> And then that's for personalized medicine. So we, we focus on like how fast we can culture enough uh, cells with the sufficient purity for subsequent study, right? Okay, and then for the tumor, so, um, so unfortunately I have not tried uh, ovarian cancer, but um, so we have a, a breast and also colon cancer, so it's, we have been able to continue to do the passages over uh, P10. So just now you even see that middle biopsy breast cancer that we already passed, and you know, it's already a cell line. It's no longer the primary culture. Yeah, and uh, um, so this is another information. So we actually bank all our cells in um, National Animal Center, because um, this, this will be uh, just open up for anyone like, who is interested in um, using those uh, uh, cells. So we will continue to deposit the cells there. Yeah. Any more questions?
Kaçıyor. So how about the, uh, I think you know that cancer is a uh, histogenous, right? So when you put the cell into your, your system, if you sequence different com or different population, will that have the similar mutation profile or, or, or gene expression profile? Um, so, so the question is to address uh, um, the population in heterogeneity, right? So um, I think the one data that we show is really the concordance with its original tumors using a urocelial uh, carcinoma. So meaning that uh, so it has a much more higher higher fidelity on the, the culture cells uh, and the tumor because they all have a heterogeneity, even like original tumor. Right? Right. So I, um, I don't know whether that answers your question. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, think, I think it's great. So I, I guess uh, since it's a company, uh, we need to support a company, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we probably can order something kind of cheap, right? <laughs> something like that, okay? So uh, any, any more questions? Uh, because we need to close at 5 p.m. Okay, any, any more? Last chance? Okay, so, so that's uh, six, Dr. Zhang again. But, uh, we'll